Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fly Stewie. Today I want to talk about will SLP ever recover? I think super short answer, no, never, never gonna happen. But I think there is definitely some promising things in the ecosystem that I would keep my eye on and why I'm actually have a long-term focus. I'm gonna show you why I'm optimistic. And really it comes down to four reasons really. The first one is, well, why did SLP tank in the first place? And when you think about it, it really has to do with SLP's or uh, Axie Infinity's roadmap. So as I change the song here, um, when you think about the roadmap, what really exploded Axie Infinity in the first place? And if you go down to the completed milestones, you know, all the way from 2017, this game was going. Realistically, it was the Ronin chain launching. Around February 2021, April 2021, Axies migrated to Ronin, and all of a sudden, it was no longer had to pay these $100 gas fees for an Axie. It made it extremely accessible, and it absolutely exploded <laughs> Axie Infinity. And we saw, like, we literally saw SLP go to the moon. So you pull up an SLP chart, you back that thing up and low oh, SLP going up. Is this a correction? Um, so you pull up that chart and look what's happened when Ronin launched. We're talking about this is USD 33 cents for SLP at a point in time. And then again, it launched went back up and around July team to 25 cents. So we've seen it really boom in the past. Now, nothing really happened in July, I don't think so. I think they just did a short correction um, in their breeding fees, but we've been seeing that Axie Infinity's really been having a, you know, really depends the price of SLP on hitting their roadmap and, you know, sticking to their promises. Because right now, as you know, the mint to burn ratio is absolutely disgusting in, you know, Axie Infinity. And they haven't been doing anything particularly to address it and that kind of leads into number two reason why i think slp does have a slight chance of recovering it and that's because of competition so if we go to the pegasi coin vis pgc pgx all of that good stuff we can see that even in a even in a down recession like right now the whole market's down it's able to keep the value of its coin relatively well, which is pretty crazy because the whole Ethereum, Bitcoin, the whole crypto market has absolutely gone down. And with Pegasi having such an aggressive focus, just an absolutely obsession with keeping the value of their economy, we can see that crypto games or NFT games need to shift from an Axie sort of mindset where they you know they're game first, um, Game first, big investors second, Axie investors third, to Pegasus mindset, which is more of, hey, we're investors first. We're trying to maintain the value of your assets. We're not gonna allow these massive dips in the price of your values, right? And in Axie Infinity's case, like they want to maintain the land value, they want to maintain the origin, you know, the origin Axie value, but they don't really want to maintain their coin value which is why we're seeing, you know, price of SLP going down because for them, it's an afterthought where, you know, a game like Pegasi, it was definitely the first thing that they were thinking. So I think with compet real competition and with Axie's player base going down, now they have to really start thinking about hitting their milestones and adding more SLP and economic things to their milestones while we're waiting on origin and land gameplay. Now, remember, when did SLP really start tanking? When did it really start going down? Um, as we're on a year chart. So we can see it's been going down the whole time, but there has been brief blips up, right? So here's a point in time where it's really steady around that five cents range, which I think is this is the long-term equilibrium probably of the price. And it was really steady around here for around like two month period after this crazy downtrend. And what really happened here, the news that we found out is that Axie land gameplay and origin gameplay are pushed back. Pushed back to the fact that, honestly guys, I don't know if they're coming out in uh, 2022. 
And Axie Infinity has used Origin and land gameplay as, you know, their conduit to say that um, this is when they're going to release all the burning mechanisms and we're not releasing any. But realistically, we can see that, you know, you don't need to wait for this revolutionary gameplay to come out to release burning mechanisms. Because we're seeing in a game like Pegasi that you can release them as many as you want all the time and keep innovating. So recently Axie Infinity, what they have been doing now that they have competition and a lot of their player base is leaving is look at this. They've released Run recently. Um, they've released their, you know, balancing patch was this whatever, but they released the Lunar New Year releasing event. So it's pretty cool. You can release your Axie and burn it at the stake <laughs> to get land items. Um, and this is another just one burning mechanisms that they've been able to release. And I definitely think more is coming. But with all this pressure and all their player base threatening to leave, now they have to address econo economic concerns, which is why I think SLP has a chance to recover. Um, number two thing that I really found, or number three thing that I really found interesting as I pull up this, is if we go to the Axie, let's go to the marketplace here. Uh, one thing that I've been noticing is that, oh, a lot of my things here, is that a lot of like more, I would say, uh, meta axes have been keeping their value. So one meta axe that I've had my eye on is, this is one of my, I think this axe here is going to be an absolute game changer. And I think, what is else is this? Is this zigzag? Maybe it's zigzag. Is it zigzag? No, goat is there. Um, <laughs> sandal, that's the one. So guys, this axie right here has not only maintained its value, but it's relatively been going up. Like, look at this, this is a, for four breeds, it's 0 0.097. So meta axes are really maintaining their value in the off season, which means that there is a core set of gamers that are still breeding axes, still breeding for scholarships. And because of that, we're able to see that there's a lot of interest in this game, right? Now, if you back up and you know you clear all the filters here, there's 615,000 axes for sale. The floor is falling. <laughs> it's absolutely falling here, even though there's a breeding or a releasing mechanism here. Um, but as we're seeing more releasing mechanisms, more burning mechanisms, this in a heartbeat, just like that, can be flipped and realistically it's about introducing as much burning and burning mechanisms to get players back into the ecosystem a lot of these players have just uh, divested but literally as soon as we have one burning mechanism i think we're gonna see people come back with a flurry and the one thing that i'll say or the last thing i'll say is why i think slp will recover is in general i think it's like one of the best times to buy not financial advice, literally not financial advice. <laughs> Don't follow me, you know. You can lose a lot of money investing in this game. But if we think about the stock market, right? Let's pull up an index. So here is the SPY. And here is 2020, right? So 2020 happens, the market's kind of going up, car's kind of going up, and look at this, COVID happens, look at how much the market drops. You would have been down around 31% from peak to trough, peak to trough. I don't even know the words. And if you bought anywhere kind of around here, like around this dip down, when the market rallies, like just a year later, you're up 20%. If you even buy down the halfway point and around a couple months later, you're up over 100% on your income when you buy now, it depends on the th reason why you're buying here, right? If you have a strong enough reason, it, it makes sense. But if you expect the economy to keep going down, you know, there's no point investing. Now, when it comes to Axie versus Pegasi, and the reason why I keep comparing to Pegasi is because it's the first true competitor. Um, Pegasi took more of like, this is an NFT approach, right? If you think about the Board Ape Yacht Clubs, the Board Ape Yacht Club doesn't have a cool game where you're playing <laughs> with your Board Apes, right? but you're able to maintain an insane value. By the way, we got three inches in the building, three inches, what's going on? We got Jamie in the building. 
Jamie, what's going on? Race says how to be a part of your scholarship. Literally just um, exclamation mark scholarship. It will show you there how we're giving away two today. Um, so keep that in check. And yeah, so Pegasi, you know, here's the game is first true competitor and it treats it as an NFT first. How do we maintain the value for NFT? How do we keep it finite? You know, how do we make sure the economy is stabilized? And I think Axie Infinity had this idea of like, how do we get to 20 million? How do we get 30 million people in our game? How do we make it so big? But guys, let's be real. Fortnite daily users. Right now, there's approximately 30 million Fortnite daily users. It had 200 million, right? And this is the biggest game ever, you know? Um, we don't need to be the next Fortnite. <laughs> we don't need to be the next Fortnite in Axie Infinity. We just need, like, maybe, like, I would say you aim for 10 million users. I think we're already, like, somewhere around that. You know, at least at one point, we're aim to that trajectory you aim for 10 million and you maintain the value of the assets how making slp burn you know pegasus is doing a great job of it um and that's all you got to do and in general guys in general as i finish up here those are kind of my reasons why i think it's you know slp has a chance to recover number one them hitting the roadmap they've been hitting the roadmap very aggressively releasing land items at releasing ron tokens releasing burning mechanisms all within the last month um meta axes are keeping their value so there is a very strong core player base still there um investors in general is probably the best time like when i started axes to buy a decent starter team that had a chance of breaking 1500 mmr you needed to drop around 1500 uh dollars usd to do that now you can get a really good starting team, honestly, for $150. Like it's accessible to the point where now scholars, realistically, um, is now is a great time to buy. Obviously, you know, as a scholar, it's a, it's a bit risky <laughs> to be putting your money in this game. Uh, so I get why, you know, scholars aren't necessarily wanting to do that. But um, realistically, it's way more affordable. And because teams are more affordable, if there is a chance that the, that those axes worth $150 can be worth $1,000 in the future, then as an investor, some might look at it, at that as a very attractive, you know, thing to do, especially before land gameplay. Like land and origin, guys, is realistically the 10x event. And I think that can't, like for me as an investor, that's why I'm sort of looking at it. And I think competition, I think the cat's out of the bag actually for it to survive against other cryptos other cryptos are going to offer their users like for the first three months five months really insane returns and Axie's not in a state where it can survive long term if every time a new crypto game comes out they're able to literally answer all of axi infinity's community's problems and axi infinity ignores it so those are my reasons why slp can still have a chance um i think if in 2022, Origin gameplay doesn't come out. I think the project checks in a lot of jeopardy and you might see a lot of users starting to sell their their uh, real assets, like not only land, but <laughs> their, uh, their Origin axes. Like when you see someone like Bryson sell his Origin axe or his land, that is a real bearish indicator and we could see the whole market flood at that point. But let me know what you think. Do you think SLP could recover? Uh, I think it depends on Origin coming out in 2022. If it doesn't, I think it's in big trouble. If it does, I think we have a good shot of recovering. It's your boy, Fly Stewie. We'll catch you next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Peace.